Turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. Okay, let's see how test loop two with two uncontrolled lefts with minimal traffic. Now see how it's handled. Onto Plum Canyon Road. Now this does not have a very big median, so it shouldn't pull out until it's able to go both directions, especially with left turning traffic from the right, which we have multiple cars turning left. Oh crap, I got a car coming from the left. Nope, I gotta go, it put itself. There is a car coming and it was leaving its rear hanging out. Unfortunately, intervention, uh, disengagement it required there. Okay, this right turn. Signal, 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 signal. Okay, there it goes. Okay, let's see if it sees this 50 sign. Nope. Still thinks it's 25. It's going to go to 50 up here. I'm just manually cranked. There it goes 50. Turn right onto Detter Lane. So I've noticed whenever a turn is completed, it doesn't see speed signs or stop signs within a certain distance of the turn. That's been an issue for many, many, many revisions. Now turn right onto Detter Okay, so it should start signaling here. There we go. Okay, good. It's controlling its okay. It's controlling now its turn speed turn while I'm recalculating here. There it goes. Signal isn't required, and it's coming to a stop. I'm just going to use the accelerator to keep it going. It's not In a stop required. Feet, turn right onto Saxama Circle. It should just go here as well. Slow is fine, but it shouldn't come to a complete stop and signal. Yeah, so we're stopping again. Gave it a tap, another tap because it wanted a break there. Now turn right onto Saxama Circle. Okay, this one, a stop is fine because we've got cross traffic from the left. Uh, we've got traffic coming possible from the left. It's all clear. Got a car parked right there, right here. Handling that well. The Jeep out a ways. Good. Okay, it's way too far now left right and it's signaling left. Line. Still signaling left. There we go. Now it's signaling right. It can go, but it's creeping forward for visibility. There we go. Okay, let's see how this uncontrolled left onto Golden In Valley is handled. Feet, turn left onto Golden Valley Road. It's going to swerve right. Yep, it's going to swerve right to go left. <laughs> it's okay, so it's still not using the lane like a human would. Not that that's bad. Okay, I've got traffic coming from the right and left. It should not go. It can go right now. There we go. Not much traffic, so not a uh, stress test, but it managed that pretty good. Let's see what it does with this left turn. I don't know why it's signaling right. In 500 feet, turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. Now it should stay in this middle lane. Turn left onto Plum no, it's going to get in the left turn lane again. Oncoming, it also has problem with lane selection for oncoming. Oncoming is a bigger issue because it keeps getting in the right turn lane to go straight. And then if I force it into the straight lane, it knows it needs to go straight. And then all of a sudden it tries to turn left. Okay, so there's a car behind me and no one to my right yet. So what's gonna probably happen here, there we go, it's gonna make this left and then immediately get into the right turn lane. And we're braking, nope, I gotta push it. It 
was just trying to stop in the middle of the road there again. Okay, let's see if we get into this right turn lane. There's no one behind me. I'll I play, let this play out a little longer. Oh, it's getting in a little late, but it's getting in the right turn lane. And the right turn on to be a Joyce. And there's test loop two with FSD beta 10.69.3.